Hey everyone, it's Natalie, the Honest Maven, honestly reviewing the lovely Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier that I purchased back in January. So if you wanna hear more about what I think about this purse, please continue watching. And if you like seeing videos on stuff that I've used or tried or not like so much, please subscribe to hear more. So let's get started with this lovely beauty. Like I said, I bought it back in January at the Louis Vuitton store in Columbus, Ohio. I have been eyeing this purse for months and months and months. And I'm gonna go through everything that I like about this along with some things I don't particularly like, but let's just get right to it. So here is basically the purse. I didn't include the bag, but here's the box that it came in. So it's this lovely, 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 big, heavy duty Louis Vuitton box. And they went all out for sure. If you have bought an authentic purse and you do have this, you'll notice there's a lovely magnetic clasp on this box. Super, super sturdy. The purse did come in this lovely dust bag. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time because no one probably cares about a dust bag, but it's really good quality. Um, you can use it again to put your purse in it when you're not um, wearing it or having it out just so it doesn't collect dust and keeps it brand new. Anyway, nice little box. Um, it's a pain in the butt to store, let me tell you like that, just because it's so big and thick and heavy, but I do love it. Um, and then of course, my lovely, lovely keys. Um, that I have for the lock over here. So I keep my lock on this side of my purse. As you know, or people that if you're not watching this and you don't know, um, this uh, bandolier version has the two zippers. So I put the lock on the side of the zipper that I don't use. So functionally, I don't. that way I don't really wanna touch it and move it around too much. I just usually open the purse with this zipper and leave this one there, like I said, for more decoration. So here is a little pouch. I'll get into that. So I kind of kept all this stuff in um, the little pouch. So the keys that go to the lock, um, the little kind of receipt that shows how much I paid for the purse, which was 1510 um, with tax. I think it came to a little over 1600 and then just this lovely little card. Um, that shows that it's um, coated fabric, which of course is the canvas and then the, the leather trim. So that's basically what all I received when I bought the purse. All right, now for sizing of this purse. This purse is called, again, the Speedy 30 Bandelever version. And that's because the width of this purse this is 30 centimeters, which is about 12 inches, just slightly less. If you kind of go over to the side, um, the width of the side portion of 17 centimeters, which is about just slightly less than seven inches. And then how tall it is, it's about 23 centimeters from top to bottom, which is about nine inches. So not a huge purse, not a small purse. It's a good everyday classy purse um, that I just particularly love. When I was making my decision about what style to get with the purse, I thought I was going to go with the monogram style because I felt it was super classic. And to tell you the truth, I do have some fake versions in it and I like it and I thought it was like, well, it's really cute. But then after watching many videos and doing my homework and doing a ton of research, I gravitated towards the bean because, well, of course I bought it in January, so it made sense, I wanted to use it right away. And winters in Ohio can be very, very hard, or they can be just, they can relatively change like within a few hours. So I didn't wanna have to worry about babying this purse. Um, I wanted to be able to use it right away. So I, again, that's kind of why I gravitated towards the Abin because it's more worry-free. Um, these handles, are like butter and they feel so, so nice. I mean, in your hands, you can definitely tell the quality that Louis Vuitton puts in these bags using these. Um, and I just, looking at the checkered print, I think it's just, for some reason, and this is again, my personal opinion, I just think it looks classy. You can, it looks great with a pair of jeans. It looks great with black yoga pants, which I know I'm currently sporting a lot every single day, basically now. Um, and it also looks good wearing a nice 
work dress, casual dress. I mean, you can like dress this up and dress this down. This is a fantastic purse. Um, so that's kind of the reason I kind of went with this style, the bandolier, just to give me the versatility because I do have two young kids. I didn't want to just handle this every single time with, you know, when I'm having a diaper bag or another bag I'm carrying for kid stuff, I wanted to be able to use the strap to throw it on. Um, and I'll go through that in a little bit, but let's get into the inside of this lovely, lovely thing. Okay, so let me go through what you can fit inside the Speedy 30 um, and why I think it's a really good bag. And don't let the size fool you if you're kind of on the verge of thinking this is not big enough. I particularly wanted to buy um, little cosmetic bags that I could put in this bag so I wouldn't have to worry this lovely red interior. Um, I bought these lovely things. Again, there's so much crap in here, so please don't judge. Um, but I'll link these below. Um, I got a package of three off of Amazon, but they're, and of course they're TSA approved, which is really, really nice. Um, and they're in the rose gold and I got three to a package. Um, and so I use two, I think three is kind of a lot to sort, um, but it's really nice. So if you want to put cosmetics in one, or if you have like mints, I have another, cause if you know, like mints and gum can kind of the smell can kind of resonate in your purse. Um, or if you have like snacks, if you have kids, these are a great alternative. Um, so I'll show you what I put in my purse and why I love these things so much. Um, I don't use a base shaper in here because I don't think you need to. The structure of this bag is so nice. It doesn't really sag, it holds its shape pretty well and these make a huge difference. So like this one has literally everything under the sun. Um, I drop stuff and I usually lay this at the bottom. This is kind of like my base. So let me see if I can fit this in here. Oh, uh, there we go. Well, maybe not. Okay, I'm trying to do this one handed. It's not super easy, so I apologize. Let's try again. Trust me, it's easier doing this when you have two hands versus one. So you can see when I lay this down in here, it lays flat and it kind of creates its own little base shaper. And then I lay my other one on top of this as well um, in the bag. It does go in pretty nicely. Again, I'm just probably making it look harder than it really is. So that's two of them. Two of them already in there and it's not even taking up half the bag. Then I lay, I've got a pretty good size Kate Spade wallet that zips open. Um, I lay this on top because for the most part, I'm reaching for my wallet. Um, and then I usually have some knickknacks in this in the little Dunienberg zip up, um, usually gift cards or um, sometimes it's just stuff I need to access or um, like little things for the kids. Um, cards to their rec area that I can easily just take this out and throw it in something else. So I like having a smaller item like this rather than carrying, especially if you're carrying like a big clunky wallet like myself. Um, and then sunglasses. So here are my sunglasses that I'll just throw in there. Again, I always like using a case, but I mean, literally I still have so much room. I could throw more stuff over here. Um, I could throw things on the side. I can key keys, but everything nicely lays in. And as you can see, the structure is fantastic. I mean, I'll hold it up real quick, but it, it looks so pretty. See, nothing really sticks out. Nothing looks abnormal. I mean, it sits perfectly. I think if you go for a smaller one, you're going to have a hard time getting things in the bag because the opening will be a lot shorter. Um, if you carry a lot of stuff, maybe you live in a cooler climate, maybe you want scarves and hats, but I can definitely stick a pair of gloves in here or a scarf. Um, I don't like my purses to be too heavy, but I have a Michael Kors purse that I'm currently using um, just because it's kind of more of the springtime. And I think that this is kind of too dark to wear in the spring, but I can actually fit more in here than my Michael Kors purse 
and it's it's physically taller and wider but there's so many pockets and compartments it lessens the area inside to actually use the purse so that's one of the positive things about Louis Vuitton. They don't give you a lot of sorters or dividers in your in your purses, um, but it creates more room for you can kind of create or you can use different dividers if you need to. But I think the structure of this purse, you do not need to use that. Okay, so here is how it looks crossbody. This is probably my biggest complaint about this purse is this strap sticking up. As you can see, when you have the strap extender, there are two loops keeping this strap down. However, when you put the extender on it, there's only one loop right here. So as you can see, this kind of sticks up and it's kind of the most annoying thing about the bag, unfortunately. Um, and you don't necessarily want to flip this strap and wear it the other way because then it'll just make it more pronounced. Um, but here's kind of what you look like with it crossbody. It sits really nice on the side. It's super light canvas. Um, like you can see, I have the lock on the front, just giving it a little extra. I like wearing it this way because you also see um, the lock here. You can kind of wear it the other way. It doesn't really make a difference. I'll kind of flip it around and show you real quick. Um, but again, that's where that lovely strap comes up. It's just a matter of like, if you want it going towards you or away from you. So again, a quick look on how it just sits, how beautiful the purse is. Um, I wore a light coat or not a light coat. Hello. Um, a nice light lavender shirt. So you can see how much really the bag pops, um, with lighter colors. Um, and you can even wear it with black, as you can see, I've got black leggings on and it still stands out and looks like really professional, really pronounced, um, something that you can definitely wear casual or you can wear, like I usually wear it, um, to the office. So holding it right there, I kind of, on my crook of the arm and you can kind of let the strap hang. I like using the extender the best just because it gives me the most versatility. And even if I do carry it like this, it, I think I, I just like it just dragging. I think it's just a really cute look, even wearing on the cooking arm. It just gives it enough, like an extra, I don't know, pop of um, style, I feel, with this bag. So absolutely love this bag. Just wanted to give you kind of an overview on how it looks.